Hello, Mr. Leak Geography, back again for a third video on coasts. Today we're going to look at erosional features. We're going to be able to understand the formation of erosional features, specifically at coastlines. If you haven't already, go follow me on Twitter, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, give me a like on the video as well, I'd appreciate that, and we'll get straight into it. So, first thing I want you to do, uh, there's four questions on screen there. I want you to pause the video for about four or five minutes. See if you can answer those four questions. I have given you a little bit of help. Uh, the sentences in red can help you out there. Like I say, pause the video for four minutes, then we'll go through the answers. Right, uh, question one, define the term erosion. Erosion is the process that wears away, breaks down materials or sediment. Question two, name the four different types of erosion. The four types of erosion are hydraulic action, Attrition, abrasion, and solution. Question three, describe how fetch can affect erosion. Uh, the fetch can affect erosion as the larger the fetch, the more powerful the wave, which then creates more erosion. And final question, question four, explain how the geology of the land will affect the rate of erosion. So geology can affect erosion because soft rocks will be eroded faster, uh, than hard resistant rocks. Right, uh, next little task for you. Use the image on the board. What do you think a headland is? What do you think a bay is? The hint is the image, pretty much. That should help you out. Pause the video, give yourself two minutes, minute on each question. If you need longer, take longer. If you can do it quicker, just restart the video as soon as you've finished. Right, a bay is an inlet of the sea where the soft rock has eroded into a curve. The hard rock that then sticks out into the sea is called the headland. So if you haven't got that definition on your page or in your book, write those two out now. I know I've answered it as one long sentence, uh, but you can split it up. It's entirely up to you. Right. Uh, this is how um, headlands and bays form, basically. The image on the board, the information underneath. The bands of soft rock, such as sand and clay, erode more quickly than those of more resistant rock, such as chalk. This leaves a section of the land jutting out into the sea, called a headland. The area where the soft rock has eroded away next to the headland are called bays. So you can see on the image, as we go over time, the softer rock, which is the middle portion, the lighter green, is being eroded quicker. It's differential erosion, so it's eroding faster than the harder rock. So you can see this bay is starting to form. As time passes, it gets wider and wider. The two areas of land either side that stick out, they are called the headland. What I want you to do, draw that image into your book, add in the paragraph underneath, uh, pause the video, it'll probably take you about 10 minutes to do it, restart it when you're ready to move on. Right, uh, the next set of erosional uh, features we're going to look at is based on this diagram. Now, for this one, we're starting on the left and we're moving to the right. So the first thing that happens, a large crack is opened up by hydraulic action. So if you remember, hydraulic action was the process of water filling in the cracks and pushing air deeper and further into the crack, therefore making it wider. So that's the first step. Uh, the crack grows into a cave by hydraulic action and abrasion. So abrasion, again, was a, a weathering that we looked at uh, in the previous video. If you can't remember those, go back and look at it again. So the crack gets bigger is the basics of it, and it forms into a cave. So you can see as we go through it, the cave gets bigger. So step three, funnily enough, the cave becomes larger. Step four, eventually the cave breaks through the headland, so you can see all the way through this area of land. So it's been eroded that much that it's actually broke through. Um, this forms what we call a natural arch, or just an arch. So it's a bit like an archway, you can see all the way through it. Question five, or part five, sorry, not question five. Uh, the arch is eroded and collapses. So as this arch gets bigger and wider, the actual roof itself uh, becomes too heavy and it basically just falls through. That's why we get this sort of area here. So that's the part where the arch was connected to this area of land here. Because it's so heavy, it's just fallen through. It's been eroded. Uh, part six, this leaves what we call a stack. So this pit, uh, this part here is a stack. So it's just a big clump of rock, basically. Um, that's what we call a stack, like I've said. Step seven, this is where the stack becomes smaller. So the stack is eroded to form a stump. So the action of the wave causes this stack to be eroded further and further and again that collapses forms a stump so i'll just go back through it quickly we've got a crack first 
gets bigger into a cave. The cave then erodes right the way through, forming an arch. The arch roof then collapses in, forming a stump, uh, forming a stack, sorry. And then the stack is eroded and becomes smaller, forming a stump. Hopefully me getting a little bit confused there hasn't confused you. Um, what I want you to do on this one, again, is draw the image in. It's quite a complex image and there's a lot of writing to do as well. But draw it in, add in the, uh, the, the labels, sorry, and it'll all make sense, hopefully, the more times you go through it. Right, last, uh, last task that I want you to do. These are um, not in order. So these are just some features or some processes of a crack form into a stack, basically. Um, I want you to put those into an order. You can write them out, you can just number them, whatever you prefer to do, and then we'll go through the answers in a couple of minutes. Again, pause the video here, um, and then when you're ready, restart it. Right, this is the answers. So, first one, headlands are usually made of resistant rock that have weaknesses like cracks. Waves crash into the headlands and enlarge the cracks, mainly by hydraulic action and abrasion. Repeated erosion and enlargement of the cracks causes the cave to form. Continued erosion deepens the cave until it breaks through the headland, forming an arch. Erosion continues to wear away at the rock, supporting the arch until it eventually collapses. This forms a stack, which is an isolated rock that's separate from the headland. Obviously, we've missed the next step, which is a stump. All that happens there is the stack is then eroded and becomes smaller forming a stump. Hopefully that all makes sense. If you are struggling with any of it, go back, watch the video again, or watch the part that you're struggling with. If you're still struggling, leave me a comment below and I'll try and get back to it as soon as I can. Hopefully, like I've said, you've understood all that. As I say, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hopefully there'll be a lot more of these and make sure you stay safe.